for anybody that's been following me, they'll know I've been creating a series called Crime Lords, which I've done for the last few years. Um, but in the last few weeks, I created some more episodes to complete it as a season, so that when I get it out there as a season with a novel that I've got as well, it's more like a package that I can then try and use to take it to another level, you know, do a season two. So I've really been working on that the last few months really. I'm in the final week of just finishing it. It's take, taken longer than expected, but we've all got jobs and you know, I've got to pay the rent. So I've been, I, I've, I've not had the luxury of working that full time. I've also been kind of slowly working on trying to create a little uh, creative business uh, called Showreel Shots, making scenes and short films for actors showreels. I've done a couple of them about a month ago and the reason I've done those, um, I've done them for free with some actors that I know and I've worked with. And the reason I've done those is to see how fast that I could uh, write them and shoot them because I had to write them within about two hours each, uh, shoot them within about four hours and post them within about six hours. The reason being is they have to be cost effective for myself and the actors, you know, because I've got to do about two of these a day when I, f I start full time on it. So I was really just testing it, playing with it, getting the proof of concept. Why try and do block bookings where I do about seven or eight, you know, in one week? Anybody that's interested in that will be updates. But what I really wanted to talk about here was that in 2018, as I says, um, that I wanted to completely embrace social media much more and create a lot more content. Tried it for many years in the past, failed miserably. I'm not really good at social media that much. I, I put stuff out there. But I don't think I'm worse than a lot of people. Most days are pretty fucking bad at it. You know, it's not meant to be just to promote your projects and to crowdfund and everything else. So for me, um, the no permission online world has always been very attractive, but I've not completely embraced that, you know. And then I thought one night, look, what if I completely embrace social media? What if I create all this support and content from my work out there? You know, because let's face it, you will never build an audience just be making some fictional work and throwing it out there. That's just not gonna happen. If you look at history on the internet, if you look at YouTubers, it's always about connecting with an audience and creating content and inspiring people as well. That's the only way you create an audience. So if you don't do that, there's no way you're gonna fucking create an audience. So when I thought about it, you know, the industry is luck based. A lot it's luck based, a lot it's who you know, it's the right places, the hoops that you jump through, the things that you do, the compromises that you make, you know. And because the industry is changing, there can be no, there can be a, it's a very shaky future. But if you completely embrace social media and you create content, you start building your own audience, there's no real downside for that, you know. There really, there really isn't a downside for you. You will build, you don't need permission, you know. You don't rely on luck because you're not relying on you know, you need to know this person, you know, you just need to pump, you know, if you look at YouTubers that have pumped to 300 videos a year and very niche content and some content is not great, they build an audience. It's as simple as that. So for me as a filmmaker, a fiction, you know, filmmaker, then 50% um, of my, my life has to be creating other, other content that's based on my story. You know, that's just the reality. And I think as a filmmaker for years, like many filmmakers who go, because I used to go, oh, it's great being a YouTuber because that's all they do. They just create a video and that's, their, their reality world is their films. You know, as a filmmaker, I've, I have to sit and write and I have to cast and cast actors and post it and it's a proper film and all that shit, you know. Um, I don't have the time to make those videos. I don't have the time to do marketing. I don't have the time and that's my, that's been my downfall, you know, um, but I've got time to rectify that, you know, um, I've got time to say, look, there's no point in making the fucking work unless I can get it out there, you know, and the only way I'm going to get it out there is share my story and my life, which means that if I've got to create, spend six hours a fucking night creating vlogs, podcasts, blogs, then that's what I need to do. Because that's, it's more important for me to build more and work over time. Because I don't want to just be, oh, here's Crime Lord, check it, Crime Lord, here's my other film, check it, that. The umbrella that they can be under can be me sharing my life, trying to get out there. And you're subconsciously highlighting your projects as well. And you're sharing your life and you're sharing your experiences and your ups and downs because, you know, in this new corporate world, there's, there's a lot of crap stuff made. Um, I think as creatives we should all be sharing you know what we're doing and we can learn from each other so that's for me 2018 really the rest of it is really about making more content uh, making content and getting it there for me I've come at a kind of crossroads there's no point in me being online at all if I'm not really what's the point of just making the work and nobody fucking sees it so if I don't create supporting content I am over I am fucking zilch and it's not just that it's trying to find a way that you can make it fun for yourself and you can make it fun for others so it's not just a drag so that you're not just going on you and talking about your project and fucking you know because i've bored myself with that shit it's trying to make the content 
I'm a filmmaker, I'm a storyteller. So if I can't create, you know, videos and podcasts that are telling a story in an interesting, maybe entertaining way, then I'm not really a filmmaker as well. It just has to be, the story has to be about me trying to get somewhere with all the ups and downs. That's what I have to embrace. Thanks very much for watching the video. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thank you.